guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well um i have just noticed by the way i looked in the viewfinder as i press the corner i just realized i look very tanned <laughs> um or slightly orange maybe i fake tanned last night but for some reason i look more glowy than i usually do i don't know why i didn't do anything differently oh do you know what it was it's because i fake tanned my face i don't usually fake tan my face so i sometimes use like gradual tanner drops in my moisturizer but I put some fake tan on my face and I think that's made the overall look very, very glowy, let's say. Um, and the only reason I fake tan my face is because I was filming a makeup video this morning, which is this look. I filmed this look. It will already be up on my channel, actually, because I was filming this and I, the foundation that I was using was a little bit dark for my skin. Um, only ever so slightly, but I thought, oh, if I put fake tan, maybe it will like even it out and match perfectly, which it did. But now I look rather, I look like I've been, well, either on holiday or tangoed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I filmed this makeup look. I'll leave the video link below if you haven't seen it yet and you'd like to have a little look because I am absolutely loving this makeup look. Most of the products were Charlotte Tilbury because I was working with them on that video. So the lipstick, the lip liner, the foundation, it was for the, found, the new foundation, which... No, I haven't got it there. I thought I had it out still. Um, it's the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation, which is a really gorgeous, like, dewy. Anyway, this isn't an ad, but if you want to see it on and um, see me apply it, I, like, zoom in really close to my skin and show, like, the show being applied and the before and after. If you want to see that, then I will link the video below. It's gorgeous. Really lovely foundation. Um, but yeah, that's what this makeup look is in that video. So I will leave that linked. But anyway, whilst I had makeup on and I was ready, although saying that, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I did spill a little bit of um, bronzer on my white shirt. I probably should have ch um, changed before I filmed this. But I thought whilst I had makeup on and I was dressed to some extent, I have got joggers on. <laughs> but I'll explain why in a minute. Well, anyway, I thought, God, I'm really gabbling, aren't I? I thought that whilst I was ready, I would start a vlog, which will probably continue over the weekend now, but I had some packages here that have been by the door since yesterday afternoon that I've been really eager to get into, and so I thought I would, yeah, I'd start a vlog, open these, and kind of, Lou and Mum are here, Lou's been playing golf this morning, and Mum's been helping me out, and now my mum is helping Lou re-jig his wardrobe because she helped me the other day we got some new chefs of drawers from ikea so lou was like so why do you think your mum would mind helping me as she helped you so that's what they're doing around the other side of the house doing wardrobe stuff um and yeah i am going to get into these packages and i have ordered a few different pieces from farfetch i am working with farfetch so i do have a discount code again i will pop it on the screen it will be in the description box as well um, but I wanted to open these because in this big box here, I have ordered a new handbag. I say a new handbag, there's two in there, but they're basically the same but in different colours and I couldn't decide which one I preferred. Um, so yeah, you are going to have to help me decide which one I'm going to be keeping. They're both gorgeous. I love, well, I've only seen pictures of them, but I just thought, I've not seen it before. I've not seen anyone else that's got it. No, it's fine. I've not seen anyone else that's got it. Um, like normally I'll see a bag on social media and I think, on Instagram and think, oh, I like that. And it will give me like the, like I'll notice it and then I'll kind of be looking out for it. This one I haven't seen, um, but it looks really nice. It's like a very classic style. <laughs> How are you getting on out there? Yeah, yeah, it's all done. Came for the Hoover? Um, yeah, I I can't see in that store. Blimey. Uh, you just in that store in it. You, no yeah, you don't wear enough of your clothes anyway. No. Nah. Um, so I have ordered um, two hoodies that I spotted that I love the look of. And yeah, the two bags as well. So this is the first hoodie that I saw that I absolutely loved. And it was in the sale. Well, I think this was the one that was in the Yeah, this one was in the sale, which I couldn't believe it was in the sale because it was very classic style. And the, actually, the reason I actually found this is because I was looking at the hats. The brand is Ganny. I've seen quite a few people with the, like, the woolly hats. Well, I was having a little look through those and then spotted this hoodie reduced. I think it was about half price. And I thought, oh my goodness, that is such a good price for like a lovely basic khaki hoodie. Um, even if I just wear it at home, like with leggings, I thought it would also look really cute 
with leather leggings and like a blazer over the top. I love that look of like chunky trainers, leggings, a, bla uh, a hoodie and a blazer. So I will style these two hoodies up and show you how they look on. But yeah, khaki green, I ordered it in the size small to medium. I will leave it linked, hopefully it's still available. But like I said, it was reduced from, I, do, I think it was like 150 or 180 or something like that to less than half price basically. So I thought it was a really good, really good price. It feels really lovely quality. And I love the khaki colour as well. I really like that. And then a little bit of, little bit of branding on the side. So I'm definitely keeping that one. I know just from looking at it, I can tell that it's going to fit. It feels soft. It just looks lovely. And then the other hoodie, and this is something that I did spot. Not this exact hoodie, but this is something that I was influenced, like the designer I was influenced from other people on Instagram, basically. And it is... Bernard Boutique. By the way, I don't know if you know, but I've mentioned this in previous videos, but Farfetch are basically like an online website that sell designer pieces from um, little boutiques or shops all over the world. So it means that quite often you can find pieces that you wouldn't find elsewhere or pieces that are sold out or out of stock. Um, if you spotted a bag and you can't get hold of it, usually you can find it on Farfetch because they source their pieces from lots of different boutiques. So um, quite often pieces will come from all over the world. Um, I think that three of the pieces came from the UK and then this bag, this came from the UK. Where did the other hoodie come from? I'm pretty sure that these all came from the UK but sometimes I've had packages that, come, that have come from America or France or Spain. Um, anyway, um, so this is another hoodie and it is an Anine Bing hoodie. And I don't know about you, but I have been seeing Anine Bing, Bing tracksuits everywhere. I've been seeing um, sweatshirts and t-shirts and yeah, all sorts of pieces. And obviously I have been influenced to look at that brand and then I spotted lots of different pieces that I love myself, including this gorgeous off-white hoodie. It's a little bit distressed, like you can see on the side of the pockets, it's got like a little bit of um, distress to the pockets and around the neck as well. But apart from that, just super simple, quite small branding as well. Quite often with the Anine Bing hoodies or, or sweatshirts, they've got big branding over the top. They've, they've got some really cool like Paris sweatshirts or hoodies. Um, I'll link a few of my favourite ones below, but I just thought that this was really cute. And now we're getting to the real deal. And these are the bags. And I wanted to open them while my mum was here as well because I wanted to get her opinion and see which one she preferred. So, I'm gonna go for this one first because I think this will probably be the one that I end up keeping. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that weight balance that I was gonna knock off. Um, so, I'm gonna open this one first because I can see from the straps which color it is. So this is the first bag and I just thought that this was just so classic and beautiful like i i love i'm going to show you in a minute but my polen bag i use all the time you know like the black kind of almost like triangular solid bag i use it so often when we go out just because it's quite big it opens up quite wide i can get my camera in and out of it and my phone and whatever else i want to put in there it's just quite a spacious bag but also not too big so i can wear it cross body or on one shoulder um but the only thing is it's got it started getting really scratched i got it in the smooth leather Smooth, smooth leather and it's just yeah started to show loads of scratches it's looking a bit tired and I thought it was about time I got a really nice new everyday black bag that's got top handle crossbody and that just yeah just a very nice classic style and that isn't smooth leather as well so that shouldn't get scratched so I spotted this bag and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I thought the shape of it was just so timeless. It is a mulberry bag, a little mini tote bag. So it's got these two top handles, which I thought was so handy that I can hold it like that. But it also has a long detachable crossbody strap as well. It's in this beautiful pebbled leather. So I think it will wear really well. It shouldn't get too scratched. And I think Mulberry just do such timeless bags. In fact, I think my first ever designer bag was from Mulberry many moons ago. Um, if I just take the paper off, you can see it's got this gorgeous little gold clasp. I think just works perfectly with the style of the bag. I just think it makes it look so, I don't know, it's just very me. Very classic, but also really like chic 
and I like it a lot. So this strap, if I've just attached this, this is um, adjustable as well, so you can have it slightly longer or shorter, you can wear it over one shoulder or cross body, and then it has got a zip at the top as well, so if I just open that up, you can see, super spacious inside, so there's loads of room, this would be the perfect everyday bag, I could fit a bottle of water in there, I could fit my camera, in fact that's a lot more spacious than, the, than my Polen bag, but it still looks quite dainty at the same time, like it still doesn't look too big. That's gorgeous. I'm really, really pleased with that. I think I'm going to have to keep it in the black just because I think it's such a classic bag. I can see myself styling this up so many ways. I think even like, yeah, even just day to day grabbing it to nip out to the shops. It's handy. You can wear it like that. I won't take the little sticker off it yet just in case I decide to keep the other colour. But I think the chances are I'll go for the black. Um, and I think like, don't get me wrong, it's an expensive bag. But in comparison to what I sell bags or other kind of like, I was looking at Gucci and Prada bags, and in comparison to that price, I thought that this was a really good price for the quality of the bag, and you can get an extra 10% off with my discount code as well. Um, and yeah, very classic timeless shape. So let me know what you think of that one. And then the other colour I got, and the reason I got this colour, I feel like you can see it already. The reason I got this colour, <laughs> let me just hide that away. Um, yeah, the reason I got this other colour is because I don't own a bag in this colour and I feel like it's a little bit more of like a autumn winter colour but it was definitely lacking from my wardrobe and I thought that, oh it is gorgeous, this is the other colour I went for, the tan or like the brownie tan. Oh, they're both really nice. Which one do we prefer? I just thought that this was lacking for my wardrobe and would look gorgeous in autumn winter with like tan boots and like rich browns and blacks and darker tones and camel, like a nice camel coat with this bag would be lovely. Now I don't know which one I prefer. I'm gonna remove the packaging because I need to be able to see the actual bag in detail. That is beautiful as well. It's a I feel like this feels a little bit more like old school mulberry, whereas this one feels a little bit more modern and a bit more chic. Which one do we prefer? Let me know. Leave a comment. Please leave a comment and let me know which one you prefer. Because I remember when I got my Saint Laurent bag, I undenard between the... Um, well, I, I, I remember I sat over there and I unboxed them and I was in between the suede one and the leather one and loads of you said to get the leather one, loads of you, and you all helped me out with that. Um, but anyway, I do not know which one I prefer. I think they're both really lovely. I'll pop them on with an outfit in a bit and see, and I also want to ask my mum which one she prefers as well. Um, I like that that's quite a dark tan. It's like a lovely rich dark tan, isn't it? Mmm, that is gorgeous. You know which ones, you, I showed you them in the picture, didn't yes, I? Yes, I know. So you know. I said I'm going to show my mum to see which one she prefers. So. Tan. Ooh. Black. Ooh. <laughs> I knew you'd like both of them. They are both really lovely, aren't they? So I've got these handles and then obviously a long... Oh, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, but which one do you prefer? Enough, you like the tan? I do like the tan. I could tell by I thought I'd like the black, but actually I like the tan. It's a nice tan. It's a it nice is a nice tan. tan. Yeah, that's what I was literally it's saying. It's quite a nice, yeah, like a rich brown. Lovely with cream. Yeah. Black. Oh, it is gorgeous. Shit. I know, they're both oh, really lovely. I just don't know if I'd get more wear out of this as like an everyday bag that I could take. You know, like because I wear my Polen one so much. Um, in fact, let me grab my Polen one quickly. You could have the tan and keep that Polen bag for your everyday one. Well, no, that's what I mean. This is, I'm, I want to upgrade, like this has got a little bit, like I was saying, this is quite scratched where I've used it so much. And it's just, it's just starting to look, don't get me wrong, it's, it's held its own really well. But I use it so much I want an up, like a new bag to just, as my everyday bag. Like I'd pick this up, up if I was going to the supermarket, I'd pick it up if I was nipping into town, if I was coming to... Yeah. I'd just go for this because it's quite big, it holds plenty in it. Whereas I felt like this 
was a similar-ish size, a little bit bigger, um, and holds quite a lot more in it because it opens up quite wide. I thought it'd just be a really practical, everyday bag. But I really love the tan as well. Well, you know what the answer is. I'm not keeping them both. Okay. You're too much of an, eight, of an enabler. <laughs> and I don't need two bags of the same style but in the same colour. spring's color. coming and all the lovely cream and navy blue and all the outfits, pale, light colours, the tan would look lovely. Oh, gosh. Isn't it difficult? Yeah. You think tan? Yeah. And I'd get a different black bag. Of... Lou, which bag do you prefer? He won't care. I don't know what I'm asking. Oh, I don't know what I'm asking. And he'll call it brown. Which bag do you prefer? Oh, I don't know what I'm asking. He's in front of you now. The same bag, aren't they? Yeah, I meant like which one do you... Colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black. Okay. Good? Okay. Yeah. You? Probably what she wanted to hear actually. Which one do you prefer? Uh, black, but I like the tan as well. Well, if you if you had, if you could only pick one. I don't know. She'd go with black because she's practical. So you'd go with the black. Yeah, just wondered what I'd get. I, I think I thought I'd get my dad's second opinion. <laughs> I'm laughing because last time I did this, you oh, remember? I had quite a few comments or messages on Instagram saying, oh, I've just watched and your mum and dad are so cute, or your dad made me laugh. Lou wasn't in, he wasn't on camera, so it wasn't, they, wasn't, they weren't looking at him. <laughs> but I think it's because I said I laughed my mum, and then I think people just heard another voice and presumed it was my dad, and it just made us laugh, didn't it? <laughs> they, they might, you might have laughed. We did laugh. Okay, so ignore the fact that I've still got some joggers on. I've left these on, I was going to put some jeans on, but the reason I've got my joggers on is because I've got a rash on the inside of my leg, like both sides. I don't know how it's happened, but it's like a red rash and it's, yeah, it's really like sore and a little bit itchy. I've not had anything like it before. Anyway, I've been to the um, pharmacist and they've given me a cream, but they said to wear loose clothing. So I've been <laughs> wearing joggers a lot. Um, and these are the comfiest ones I've got. But anyway, I've just popped this blazer on because mum and I just went into my wardrobe room and we were like looking through all of my coats and jackets and blazers and holding this bag, this tan one, up against all of them. And it just looked so nice against lots of different shades. So, although I was on the black side, just there, before, I think I'm edging towards tan. I just think, I don't know if it's because it's mulberry and like the style of it, it feels very kind of classic and very like, not country-ish, but like, I don't know, do you know what I mean? It sort of works with the style of this blazer. And just, I can imagine it with a blazer, blue jeans or black jeans um, and loafers in spring and autumn but then in summer we held it next to like some cream and white pieces and it would look lovely with like white dresses as well and it's very different I wouldn't use it as like an everyday bag but I just yeah I just think I prefer it maybe I think I'm, I'm so easily influenced and I think my mum because she was like oh the tan is beautiful it made me think it is really beautiful sorry ignore the mess behind me um, but yeah, I think I might be edging towards this one. I just think the style of it suits being tan. The more I look at it, I just think that cla that like classic kind of, oh, the classic kind of mulberry tote shape of it really suits being tan. So I think I'm edging towards this one, but let me know which one you prefer. And if you've changed your mind as well, if you preferred the black and then after seeing this one styled with a blazer, you prefer this one. Or let me just show you how it looks as well. So I, if I just put it over one shoulder, um, I would actually, I would turn this around so that this bit was at the back. But if I just put it over one shoulder, you can see that it sits just kind of hip length. But like I said, this is adjustable, but I think it sits perfectly like that. And then if I just pop it cross body as well, I feel like it's a good size to also sit cross body, it's just about small enough. It's like edging on being too big, but I think it's just about small enough to be styled like this as well, and just sits really nicely. I think it's a really, really beautiful bag. The leather feels lovely quality, and I like it. I will leave it linked below. I'll leave both of them linked below. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try on the hoodies as well. 
so I've just popped you on top of a little box because I just had a little PR package arrive from Laura Mercier. In fact, let me just grab the um, little thing that came with it. It says 2022 marks the 25th anniversary of our beloved brand Laura Mercier. As we embark on this monumental year, we wanted to thank you for all of the continued support and love that you have shown us over the years. To begin celebrating the 25th anniversary, and kick off the new year, please find enclosed a selection of our best-selling and most iconic products for you to enjoy. So in here is the Tinted Moisturiser Oil Free. So this is, I love both of the Tinted Moisturiser, the Oil Free one and the regular one. Um, but this is in the, sh in the shade Sand, which I think is darker than the one I've already got, but should be perfect for summer. Because the one I've already got, which I'm using at the moment, is a lovely, um, love, like, it, the perfect shade for winter. Oh yeah, that looks really lovely. It's super creamy. And for a tinted moisturiser, it's quite thick as well. It's quite good coverage. Um, so I will definitely use that. And then there is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer, which is one of my favourite concealers. This is amazing. In the shade 2W, which, 2, 2W, which is slightly lighter than I would usually use, but it might be quite good for like brightening around the eyes. I tend to use, I think it's 3W that I usually go for. Um, but yeah, it might be good for like just brightening up and in the winter as well. And then there's a little blush in the shade Chai, which, let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. That's so pretty, isn't it? Lovely, like pale, ro rosy sort of tone, which again, perfect for winter because it looks quite light. And then there is a matte radiance baked powder in the shade bronze, so a lovely bronzer. Have a look. Well, I think it's a bronzer. I love Laura Mercier packaging as well. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Really lovely. Again, quite light as well, so perfect for winter. I know I fake tanned at the moment, so I look quite <laughs> summery, but um, yeah, perfect skin tone for at the moment. And then this is the Illuminating Pure Canvas Primer. And I've actually got the regular Pure Canvas Primer on today. Underneath my makeup, you would have seen it in the makeup tutorial. So this is the Illuminating one, which is gorgeous. It just gives a really lovely glow. Um, perfect, I'll just put it on the back of my hand. Perfect for spring, summer as well, because it gives that lovely, dewy, oh, that feels lovely on my hand. Can you see that sheen? Probably not, but yeah, it just gives a really lovely sheen and then your makeup just glides on perfectly. I love the Pure Canvas Primer from Laura Mercier. So there's some of their, yeah, their Hero products. Um, and they are available at Space NK. I'll try and link, well, I will leave them linked if I can. Um, but yeah, all available at Space NK. So you can see the little bags are still out behind me. I'm still deliberating between them. <laughs> But it is getting dark in here now, so I am going to tidy up all of this cardboard and um, pack away. I think Lou and I are going out this evening for... We're going out this evening? Why are you winking at me? Well, because so if you want to go out, you're going to take you out. We're going to go out for a drink, weren't we? Oh, yeah, maybe, a, maybe a Guinness. We usually... We've been trying to get into like a routine of going out every Friday night, just because... It rounds off the week nicely, and nice although I don't know if I can go out of you with that barnet. What's wrong with it? No, I'm joking. Come see, show your haircut. Now, it, it, Lou had a haircut yesterday. You've been going to this new Turkish barbers, haven't you? And they give you like the whole works, but oh my goodness, it's literally like such a close. Like I said to him, it looks blue, it's that close. I love it. <laughs> He likes it. That's all that matters really, isn't it? That's the main thing. Um, no, I did just say that's all that matters. I think it will look nice once it's once it's grown back, basically. No, you know when it just needs a bit more, a little bit more hair. Um, but yeah, he's been going there and apparently they do like your nose hair and your ear hair and like they meet in all around here and yeah, comes back singing their praises. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna pop this stuff away. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. 
post. So you may have seen on the time I'm not actually sure if I managed to record one, but I have just finished filming my, um, just finished doing my mum's hair and makeup. I wanted to try out the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation on like an older skin, like in comparison to mine. And I think it looks gorgeous. You really like the oh, foundation, don't you? You've done such a good job, babe. So I've it's done, lovely. yeah, foundation, a little bit of natural eyeshadow, and then used the GHD Rise to just put a few flicks in her hair, which I also think looks, I think looks really pretty. Really pretty for a change. Just sort of flicked it back. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. You look delightful. Thank you very much. Really suits you. And you've got um, Pillow Talk lipstick on, which looks lovely as well. We've just popped into John Lewis to have a little look at the sofas. Oh, oh it's actually comfier than it looks, isn't it? Yeah, what I like, the arms are quite thin. It's a bit dark grey though. I'm not I don't like the, the colour. colour. No, I don't no. like the colour. If it came lighter or cream. We're feeling or... quite tired today, aren't we? Yes. Lethargic. We keep Very. sitting down everywhere. We sat on a bed in Dun Elm for like <laughs> 20 minutes talking on a display T bed. Yeah. Tired <laughs> legs today. Yeah. Tired, we? I don't know why. No, I don't know. But we've just one come into days. one of those very off days. But we're just having a little look around the lighting section in John Lewis. And um, yeah, decided to sit down on the sofa yet again. We're just moving around on <laughs> from Places sofa to seat. I did spot a nice table over there actually. I'll show you in a second. I like, I prefer the style of that though. I like the shape of it with the little legs and the, it looks bit, oh, but what I mean is I feel like, not, not that exactly because it looks sloppy, but with the shape of the legs, this I feel like it looks a bit more like an office sofa where it's so square and stiff. Whereas that one looks a bit more classic. I don't like that. I feel like the arms are too small and like you say, it does look a bit sloppy. Mm, I think this looks too, too modern. Okay. There we go. No, but they've got some nice, um, nice little table lamps. Which one's your favourite? Have you had to pick one out of all of them? They're quite, they're quite cute, I suppose. As little bedside table lamps. Yes. Very little. Oh, and you get two for, two for sixty. And the ones next are quite cute. Ish. Oh. No, weird shape actually, aren't they? No. I did like this one around the corner. Where is it? Where is that one I spotted that I liked? Oh, over here. Somewhere over here. This is nice. Mm. We thought this one was pretty. The mother of pearl one. Really pretty. Although I think it'd be nice if the lampshade was white rather than cream. Yes, I agree. It looks a little bit yellowy, doesn't it? Yeah. But the base, it's not really showing up, but did doing it justice, but it's really pretty. It's kind of like sheer mother of pearl and that's quite nice ish yes what about the big ones do you like any of the big ones i don't know there's not any in particular i like it's quite nice it's like a small version yeah a smaller version of yeah yours. i quite that's like that one nice. table over here was nice do you like this come and have a look this herringbone one. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really lovely, isn't it? I almost wish that we'd I gone for flooring like this in our front room. You know for next time. I know for next time, yeah. And the polished tiles but that you've got do look lovely. They, they do, do. they just, I wouldn't choose lights. them if we were doing it again. Yes, well, they are. But. It's all about learning, isn't it? Yeah, but I do like the style of this wood for the table. Although I'm not sure about it being in three separate. It goes underneath, doesn't it? Is it in the yeah, no, it would do, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like the little bench as well actually. And they've got a sideboard, a matching sideboard as well. Mm. No. No, I don't like those. I feel like it looks like a. That's a so. That looks like a sofa bed. That's. I think they are sofa beds, aren't they? No, I don't like the shape of it. I feel like they, I feel like I can't have a corner one because we haven't got a corner. No. In there. And then you've got a Chesterfield one. You don't really want a Chesterfield one, do you? No, but a bit too. Don't doesn't suit the style of your oh, home. A console table as well. That's not really what you're after, I mean, though, is it? it? Isn't is it? Too square, isn't it, for the shape you're looking I can't for? See Dad and I sitting on that. No. And the backs too low. And again, I think that's too square as well. I think. 
No, that's not what you're after, Mum. No, I know, but I quite like it. I didn't think it might be. Don't be silly. No? No. It would look silly in your living room. That wouldn't suit your living room at all. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm back in ten. I'll have a look around and come back for you. Because of how it cleans up. I mean, I. Yeah, no, it is comfortable. Isn't it comfortable? Oh, that's my dress now. Oh, um, yeah, it's comfortable, but maybe just it was... not. Yeah, I've just spotted. They've got the. Um, my stackers jewelry box in here these are the ones i featured in my gift guide so do you remember i was saying they come you can either buy it as a full one or or buy them separately so this is 20 pounds and this is i guess for earrings and then you can get like different se oops, different sections this is the lid that comes like that which is 25 pounds and then you can put them all together a great um, idea. yeah it's good isn't it yeah. and then they've obviously got a massive one here oh oh <laughs> not demonstrating it very well. No, just that, because I thought... It does, you lift the lid up. Here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the lid, that's the top one. Pull it out a bit. No, it's fine. And then, yeah, all the different compartments that you can add to it. If there's something you think... Say if you've got loads of earrings, you could have like three of these and then add to it. Little travel ones in here. They've got the in drawer ones as well. Expanded oh, yeah. Um, they haven't got one out. I've already got one like that in my drawer already, though, haven't I? No, not not that, but my drawers have actually got something similar built in. My yes. makeup drawer. Yeah. But yeah. And I actually ordered from Amazon yesterday something similar to this as well, ma'am. I ordered just one with like a oh, um, for your... my necklaces to hang on. So I thought they're easy than being in my jewelry box. They're easier to hang on a jewelry stand, aren't Lovely. they? Something similar to that. Lovely. Amazon. Are they got little tiny ones? Yeah, cute. How much is that? Twenty pounds. Yeah, a bit like this. I ordered mum, but slightly bigger, and it's got. Oh, it's lovely. Three, I think. Yeah. Not like that. Nicer that than that. Nice, and this is a little one that I gave to Lou. Not this colour, but he's got a little grey one like this, hasn't he, for yes. watches. watches and things, yeah. yeah. They've got some reduced fever tree gin and tonic crackers. Oh, I've just walked around this corner and it smells so good. Obviously, I don't know which one it is that smells so good. It's probably a mixture of all of them. But diffusers everywhere. They're nice as well. I like these plain glass lanterns. Trust you to go for the ugly one with the flowers on it. <laughs> these are nice, these like fluted ones. This side, they're quite nice. And these lanterns. No, true. Gosh, doesn't that look like Nanny's old? Doesn't that look like Nanny's old mantelpiece clock? Should have kept that just popped into the range to have a little look and I was just saying how lovely this lamp is it wouldn't go in like my I'm looking for two for that fast bed spare bedroom and it wouldn't work in there but it is 49.99 it looks so much more like I don't get me wrong I know that's a lot for the range but I said to mum it looks like it could be from somewhere I don't even know if the cam's doing it justice but it is lovely and then I also spotted these ones out here which we've just put on a table to see how it looks these glass ones, which I thought were really nice, just a white shade and a plain glass. I don't know if it looks a bit straight. Do you think that bit looks a bit straight and it looks nice when they're a bit curved? Maybe. I like it, I think it's lovely. I do prefer the other one down there. Which other one? The one you've just showed me. Yeah, I prefer that bit, it wouldn't work. I'm thinking in the spare bedroom, either side of the bed. Needs to be something a bit more like that. Yes. That one wouldn't work, would it? It would just look too no. garish and that too... That would only work in your hallway. Yeah. You one in the hallway and you've already got that metal yeah. one, haven't you, in there? Yeah, they've got those ones with a shade around here. But I don't like the silver on them. No. I'd like it if it was just plain glass with no silver at the bottom. 
What's this one here? This looks quite nice. That's quite nice, just a plain, plain white one. Which one? Yeah, I know, it's good, isn't it? Isn't it a nice shape? Yeah, again, I just don't like the silver bit down the bottom. I think if that didn't have the silver, it'd be nicer. I don't like that. You could always paint over that if you wanted to. Yeah, true. Couldn't you? Do you prefer that to the other one I've just seen then? I'm gonna put it on the table next to it. Okay. Which do you prefer? Which looks more modern? The one on the right looks more modern. Yeah. Definitely. And it's nicer. I don't like the shape of the, no, the one on the left. One, the one on the right. I did nicer. spot another one though that I'm going to grab and show you. Option number three, mum. I don't even. I don't even know if I like any of them now. Option number four. No. 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 Why? I don't like that. Okay. Or the one on the left. I don't like no, that either. I'll put that what do you think of these two, Mum? No and no? No and no. Yeah, so. Still think the first one. Yeah. But I think you'd have to see it in on your bedside tables to see what you really thought. I don't think you Good morning. It is Sunday. It's not morning either. Oh. No, it's not. It's one o'clock. How has it? The day's gone so quickly today, hasn't it? Um, I think I automatically say good morning anyway. Anyway, good afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon and we are off. It's a beautiful day, as you can probably tell by how dark it looks, like the shade. Um, but Lou and I are off to play golf. And I say we're off to play golf. Lou's off to play golf and has somehow... You said you'd come. ...convinced me to join him. He's been going on for ages about wanting me to go with him to play golf and... Well, you wanted to go for a long walk? I wanted to go for a long walk because it was a beautiful day and I wanted to go for a long walk and then for like a nice roast dinner somewhere or like a nice pub pub lunch. Um, but yeah, Lou was adamant. It was, it was perfect weather for golf. He's been going on at me for ages about... The sun's out, there's no wind. ...joining him. But I can't even bloody play golf and we're going to a golf course that... I don't, yeah, I don't know, we, we've just been watching, on the way here I've been watching a, a lady called Paige play golf on YouTube, haven't I? Yeah. Trying to pick up some last minute tips, but we well, went... Her main thing was just to have fun. Was that her main tip, just, yeah, have, just fun. have fun? with it. Well, there Don't we go. about it too much. No, we went to, um, oh, it's really bright, let me put that down. Yeah, we went to Pitch and Putt a few weeks back. And yeah, it wasn't too bad, but I mean, I'm definitely not a natural. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're off to today. But it is, I mean, if I show you, you can just see like from the drive down, how beautiful. Like, it's such a lovely day and so sunny, really gorgeous. Nine uh, degrees. Yeah, nine degrees, even though I am wrapped up warm. I've got two body warmers on um, so that they don't disrupt my bat. <laughs> It's not called a bat, is it? What's the word? My my swing. I meant they don't disrupt my swing. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're off to this morning. And how long do you think it will take? Uh, anywhere between sort of three and a half hours to four hours, maybe. Depends how quick we are. Blimey. Depends how how many balls I lose, I suppose. So on the left, as you come in, that's the pitch and putt that we did last time. Is it called pitch and putt? Yep. Pitch and putt that we did last time, which is a little bit more like doable for someone of my skill. And, uh, well, just to give you an indication of how long the courses are. Yeah. This here, you tee off for this hole here that we're going to play later. You tee off there. So are, they me are those men going to watch me play? No, or they're on like the 12th hole. We're starting on the first. No one's going to be coming out now because they won't be able to get around it. That's the thing, I this just don't want anyone to see me play. This is how far it is. So you start there. And Lovely you... little picturesque place, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. You go all the way over there. Go over there. It, will be, it will be busy, but not when we're, where we're starting. Okay. It'll all be quiet. It best be. But you don't have to play, so you don't have to play. No one cares. No, but no. This is still the same hole. They know we teed off. Oh my goodness, we've stop got... it. So they're all... Halfway round. Are we about halfway round? 
nearly halfway round. This is eight. Eight of 18. Eight, no, 18, nearly halfway round. And we just stopped for hot chocolate and it's so lovely out here. I mean, I'm not the best, am I? Let's be honest. Neither am I. I'm really not the best, Neither but I. I'm enjoying it. I'm just enjoying being out in like, if I show you. It's like we've just stopped to sit down and look how beautiful it is. I was just eyeing up this house over here as well. How gorgeous is that house? Such a lovely view. But we better get going because they're about to catch up with us, aren't they? Well, the That's the only finish. thing. Yeah, we, that we've got like, we're sandwiched in between people behind us and people in front of us. Yeah, but it's so lovely. Look, look at the views. Absolutely beautiful. And I brought a little flask of hot chocolate, which is just going down a treat. Very nice indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Just giving my ball a little clean. Can't Which side do I put it in? Yeah, I was trying to do. Can you put it in? Oh, did I just flick you? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Take that. Bad? Yeah. I didn't <laughs> I was looking at the camera. I didn't see where the ball went. Did you not? The sun is just about to set. We've got two holes left to go. We're just on the th um the third to last one. <laughs> we are freezing. My hands are like ice cold. My nose is dripping. <laughs> huh? Well, I'm cold then. I'm really cold. Um but how gorgeous does that sunset look? I don't even think the camera is doing it justice, but how pretty is that sky? so pretty we have literally just finished playing golf it's like quarter past five it's just getting dark outside and i am freezing my toes were like white where they'd gotten so numb and my fingers were really cold as well but we had a lovely time didn't we yeah brilliant. really fun really good i definitely enjoyed something it you're, uh... yeah def i'll definitely go again like like i said i wasn't i wasn't very good at all but just, as time went on, I got the hang really of like, improved, yeah. yeah, I definitely felt an improvement. And, it, and like, there's like quite a satisfaction when you hit a ball <laughs> and it goes up in the air and you're like, go on. <laughs> um, so we've just come to a little country pub just up the road, haven't we? Yeah. And we're just going to have a little glass of wine and, well, I'm going to have a little glass of wine. I'll have a Guinness. And um, yeah, then head back home. But it's been a really nice day. Here. Um, we have just pulled up on our driveway, we've just got home. We have been singing in the car all the way home, haven't we? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, we've been singing along to, I've actually got a microphone here as well, we've been listening to I can do share. the playlist, the meatloaf to start us off with. Start off with a bit of meatloaf. R.I.P. Started off with meatloaf and uh, we'll do that one. <laughs> and then we went on to share Do You Believe in Love? Well, we do started you, off with the other one and I was like, this isn't the one I was No, after. yeah, yeah, yeah. You put on the wrong one and you were like, which is a good share song? No, I said, what did I say? A bit quicker. Yeah. Then, the Believe is Cher's like best song as well, though, yeah, isn't it? So we put that on and we were literally, I mean, I said to Lou, I was Cher. Afterwards, he was like, have you got a microphone? <laughs> I was Cher, I was in it, I was, yeah, I was, I was on stage. And then the last song we just listened to was Z Yazoo, Only You, which is one of my favourites. In fact, we actually, as we were listening to the songs, we created a wedding playlist because we were like, these are such bangers, we're going to have to have them at our wedding. So we listened to Yazoo after Only You, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And it's a shame we lived closer, otherwise I think we could have gone for that bra. Oh that. yeah, like if we We yeah, actually we, went a long way home. Yeah, so we, we lived, more music. yeah, when we actually came to our road, we did another like spin around the block just to get a bit more time to <laughs> sing along to Yazoo. But... Yazoo, it reminds me, it's the one from The Office, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the UK office. Yeah, the UK office. Yazoo is like in the final. It used to always make me cry like that. Yeah, like, when, like... when Tim and, I can't even think of her name. No, I always call her Lucy. That's it, Dawn. Tim and Dawn finally, finally, finally got to get. But get anyway, together. we have just had a lovely journey yeah. home. And I just thought I'd quickly pick up my camera to finish off the video here. Oh, and by the way, we had the loveliest roast, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We weren't even planning on having a roast. We were just going to go over there for a quick drink to finish off after golf. We sat by the fire. It was so lovely and warm and cosy, and we saw other people getting car free, and we were like, 
why not? We'll get on that. So we had a car for I don't and know it was... where I'm. I'm wearing a purple jumper. Yeah, it's not the best light. It's really not the best lighting in here. It's that. It's just that. Yeah. But yeah, we finished off with a carvery in the Anchor in Siddlesham, which is right next to Chichester Golf Club. I can highly recommend it. It was blooming delicious, wasn't it? Also, we got to take some home. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, the people next to us had a doggy bag with them, and then she came over and said, did you want to take it with you? And I was like, I felt... Like, you know when you can't eat it, but you feel like you don't want to chuck it away? They loaded us right And they know. loaded us up. You will have seen. I think I might have filmed it. But they gave us, like, an extra dish of cauliflower cheese, which was so good. And oh, it was delicious. So, yeah, we've got that for... I might even chuck it into a pie or something. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to finish going? the video off here. Now? You know I just was finishing off the vlog. Thank you for watching. And see you again in my next video. Bye.